Hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. How was your day? It was wonderful, Tisha. What about you? Very nice, a lot of things done. That's great. The rain just started here in Santana City. Oh, here it's not raining yet. Yeah, the mm. rain, the train left in your city. No, no, no rain. Ah, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Maybe later tonight. Maybe. I was talking with a friend a few minutes ago, and he's from Metapan. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he told me that it, it was a, a rain in Metapan City. Oh, wow. Today. Yeah, maybe during the nights, the rain will visit Santa Tecla. You're from Santa Tecla, Tisha? That's correct. Wonderful. Like, I think, when was it? Yesterday? Yesterday it was raining here, but they said that in other places it wasn't raining. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. here in Santana, it was hottest, but the, it is the first or maybe the second time that the rain began to Santana City, maybe. Okay. Yeah, it's in the beginning of the year. It's like this, it's normal. Yeah, it's true, it's normal. Mm hmm at the middle of the year, maybe. Yeah. John, maybe at the end of May or John, maybe the rain start so hard. Yeah, right now it's going to rain maybe one or two days and then one week, no rain, and then disappear. The rain is like that's this. right. Yeah. It's true. Okay. What about our classmates? I see we have Carla and Blanca and Anna Yamilet. Wow. Hello, hi, classmate. Hello, hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, good to see you. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Are we ready? Any questions about unit one? Any problems or issues from yesterday's class or from Monday's? No, teacher. No. I just was working in the middle term. In the middle test mm -hmm. during, during the evening, I just the finish. It's excellent. That's, That's the right. great thing about online. Online is that if if you want to work more, super easy. That, you just work more. Mm -hmm. I was checking the, the another session of the this uh, the other uh, level. I think that this this section is less difficult than the another one. I think so. Then the next one. No, the, the last one. The last, last one, Juni. This this is I think that is easier than the last one. Oh excellent. I was watching. That's right. I don't know what happened with the classmates. Everybody's here. It's eight o'clock. We are ready to begin. All right. That's fine. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's start off. That way we make sure we finish all of the activities. That's right. Ah, uh, Nasario, can you please read what we're going to do today? That's right. Uh, in this session, you will learn vocabulary for, from common health problem, as well as listen to a conversation where this new, let me see, I couldn't see the last part. The new words will be practice, practiced. Okay, practiced. Practiced. Okay, so the topic is health problems. That's going to be the issue, and those are the vocabulary we're going to learn. Let's okay. watch a small video about health and problems. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, Insomnia. Okay, take a look at all of those. Are there any problems that you don't know? Uh, nope. Okay, all of those are okay? Yes, teacher. Great. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Okay, so instead of just writing about the health problems, we're going to take a moment and we're going to learn a little bit about them. Those are common things. 
common health problems. Now in English is very common ache. Many times you use ache with different things. Headache, stomach ache, right? Uh, backache. These are the very common words. Toothache. The other toothache, correct. Toothache. Mm -hmm. uh, the other is common is the word sore. Okay. Sore is another common word and we use it with many different things. For example, with the eyes, no, I ache is sore eyes, sore muscle, sore wrist, sore leg. We can use it with other parts of the body. We're going to use sore. Sore throat. Mm -hmm. Sore throat, exactly. It's okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Great. So now we're going to see a little bit more, not just those medical problems. Let's take a look. Okay. Here. In this one, let's read it. Carla, can you read? What are we going to do? In this season, you will listen to a conversation where common help, help problems are are mentioned using infinitive complement. Okay, so let's take a look at what are those health problems. Besides the common ones, let's see what else they discuss. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health-related words, we're ready to listen to them in context. Also, pay attention to suggestions given when we get sick. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Let's look at the Hello, conversation. welcome. Best. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Looking at the conversation, are there any words you don't know? Teacher, what's the meaning of wall head of garlic? The garlic? You can garlic, help. Garlic, cebolla. No, no, garlic, eh, ajo. Correct. Wall, you, wall can have head? A, you can have a little piece or you can have a big piece. Ah, okay. The little piece is, the idea is, uh, the, well, sorry, the entire piece is called a head, a head of garlic. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are the other words okay? It's okay. All right. So first thing we're going to do, we have this conversation in WhatsApp and we have it here. This is 2.3. We're going to practice it with our partner, one time Joan, one time Craig, and then we switch. Not a long time, only a moment for us to practice before we practice creating our own. Okay. So let me see first. Who do we say? We saw, I think we saw Alba and Blanca that are having some problems. Okay. Just before we make the groups. Okay. Let's see. All right. Ah, and we have Christina as well. So let me change this one. Okay, so with our partners, let's practice the conversation. Only a few moments. Practice the two roles. Make sure that you work on the fluency.
Raquel, ok. Raquel, do you have problems? Alba, you can join the group and listen. Okay, then I'm gonna move with Sienna. Raquel, everything okay? All right, any questions about the vocabulary or the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, Carla. And uh, I finished the crates and juke that sound awful. Uh, terrible, that sounds terrible. It's so it's, he says, yuck, that sounds awful. It sounds very bad. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Any other words? Okay, pretty good then. All right, if there are no other words, let's go ahead and continue on with the next topic. So now we're having several different problems. Here we have cold, fevers, different things, right? And we're talking about what to do. Okay, so the question is, for example, what should I do for a cold? Whenever we answer, it's very common to use the infinitive. The infinitive is this part with to and the verb, okay? So we say, oh, it's a good idea, it's important, it's nice. The, this is always first my opinion. It's a good idea. It's great, it's wonderful, it's excellent. And then the infinitive, to take, to rest, to sleep, to whatever you think is the correct ideas. It's okay how to use it? More or less, let's take a look at some of the ideas, how we use it. Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive complements. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Okay. So if you see exactly what I mentioned, first your expression. It's important. It's useful. It's a good idea. Whatever your opinion is. After your first opinion, then you give the action. Two, and then what is the activities? 
to take, to sleep, to rest, etc. This is always on how to explain what to do for the medical problems. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. Okay. So now we're going to practice speaking specifically about that. First, here we have a couple of things in 2.6. 2.6, we have different medical problems. A sore throat, a fever, a sunburn or a burn, a toothache, a cough. And now we want to give some of the ideas. Let's try number one together to make sure that it's clear for everyone, okay? So what should I do for a sore throat, okay? My opinion, it's important. And then what do I put? Maybe to take, teacher. Okay, to take, and then some vitamin C, which is the complement that they have. Okay, good. Let's try the next one. What about a fever? What should I do for a fever? To drink. It's a good idea? To drink. To drink, okay. To drink lots of liquids. Mm -hmm. What about here? What should I do for a burn? To put some ointment. Good. To put in here. Remember, ointment is the medical cream. So for the cream is ointment. Like a uh, ungüento. I don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> I think is you would think of it like maybe like kofal. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like a <laughs> Maybe like this is a cream, an ointment. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Good. What about number four? What should I do for a toothache? Toothpaste. Repeat. To see. To go to a dentist. Ah, okay, it's important. To see or to go to a dentist. All right, maybe both of them are correct. And what about the last one, a cough? To take, to take some medicine. Typical, to take some medicine. Okay, now you can check and see if you have them correctly in your platform. Here we can see to take some or to take, to take some vitamin C. All of those answers are correct, but no periods. Remember, no periods. Number two, the same, to drink or to drink lots of liquids. Number three, correct, to put or to put some ointment on it, the complement. Look, only we can have both. We can use to go or we can use to see that have the same meaning. So to see a dentist or to go to a dentist. And the last one is to get. In this case, to take, to get some medicine. Also, we can use the one that we have to take some medicine. So both of those are good ideas. Now that we have ideas, yes? In the four, um, I write to go a dentist, but it's wrong. Correct, it's wrong. You need to put it correctly. It's to go a dentist is not correct. You are missing. Uh -huh. Ah, go to a dentist. Correct, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now what are we going to do? Super easy. We're going to do role plays. What are we going to do? Role plays. One is going to be the doctor. One is going to be the patient. 
okay? And we're going to go to the doctor, explain the problem. The doctor is going to give us the medicine or medication and tell us what to do, okay? And an example, I'm going to have my partner, imagine, okay? Hello, thank you for visiting Dr. Cubillas. How can I help you? Hi, doctor. Today I'm feeling a little sick. I have a headache and a little a slight fever. Um, I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, uh, for the headache, what you can do is you. Uh, it's a good idea to take some aspirin or some Advil to help you. And also with the fever, it is very common to take acetaminophen. But I suggest that it's important to rest and stay home for three days. I'm going to give you a prescription for the med the idea. You and your partner, you are at ease, you are at the doctor, you are uh, and wherever you like to go to the things. But one is the doctor, one is the patient. You're going to practice. Then we're going to switch roles. Then the other, the doctor, the other, the patient. And then you're going to present to the class. You have five minutes to prepare your presentation, five minutes, and then you pass to the front. And then you pass to the class. It's okay. Five minutes, you feel confident? Five minutes, you can do it? Maybe more, teacher. <laughs> mm, maybe more. Carlita, mom, maybe more, maybe more. Mm -hmm. Okay, I give you six minutes, huh? Okay, six minutes. Bye. Mm -hmm. okay. Imagine six minutes to prepare. And then you have to have a, a role play. Remember the role play. If you prepare six minutes, the role play, no 20 seconds. No, what's wrong? A headache. Oh, take Advil. Hey, just do what just do what teacher. No, what no, just do what? What you you continue? You continue. Uh-huh. You have to speak. Your presentation is one minute. How long is the presentation? One minute. One, One minute. minute. No nada. Teacher, no sé qué decir. It's your problem, not my problem. It's <laughs> your problem and your partner. You have to speak for one minute. Yes? But about this topic, teacher. About this topic. Exactly. One minute for the presentation. About health problems. About health problems, about solutions, problems. recommendations. Oh, I, when when I have a headache, I take I go to sleep. My, the grandma, the uh -huh, my grandmother give me a bacalao because she said well, I don't know, but you have to give one minute, one minute. That's right. That's right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, let's do it. No cheating. No, 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 English, English, no, 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 English, English, no cheating. Mm -hmm. Ya me los puedo that's todos right, los trucos. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't have one trick, teacher. Exactly. I don't excellent. have it. Excellent, excellent. Okay, six minutes, let's go. Can you hear me? Sí. I can't hear. I not know it's a problem with my headset or my nerves. Well, now I, I listen clear. Okay. Peor que vos. Hi. Okay, I am. Uh, hello, doctor. I visit him because I have a headache for two days. Um, uh, um, 
and my A's hard too. Uh, is terrible. Uh, Lil, Blanca, what happened? Hi, hi, teacher. Um, Blanca, don't speak. Okay, I put you in another group. Don't worry, Lil. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Hey, what about the six minutes? The time left? No, six minutes, six minutes. <laughs> yeah, few minutes. Don't worry, did you? Yeah, exactly it's, six it's minutes. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready? Nah, but I think so. I can. <laughs> okay, yes. 
All right, Luisana so. and Nazario. Luisana and Nazario, you have one minute. Are you ready? Okay. I think so, Tishu. Okay, I have the timer. I am ready. Okay, okay. go ahead. Uh, I was talking with Luisiana and she told me that she had a stomachache. No, 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 no. You are role play. One the doctor, one the patient. Yeah, hi, Luciana. How are you? Uh -huh. How do you I, feel? How do you feel? Uh, uh, so, so. Uh, what happened? Tell me about your health problem. I I have a stomach. A stomach. Stomach okay? Yeah. Really? It's dangerous. You have to take care, but I'm going to suggest some medicine. You can take some antacids. For... Um, many times you can take some antacid three times a day after every every meals in the, uh, in the morning after eat after lunch and after dinner okay um for men uh, for who, who they eat? i i'm going to give you a bottle for one week. One week, and and take a better uh, or many liquids. That's Excellent. right. Time one left. One minute. Excellent. That's right. Thank you, Nazario. Thank you, Luisiana. Okay. Very nice, Nazario. Thank you. Very good, Luisiana. Luisiana, you need to practice asking more questions and get more details. You did not have one question correct. All of the questions were wrong. So you need to practice asking the questions. For example, practice using the structures. How many days or how often, how frequently that you need to practice different questions to make structure, okay? The best way okay. is when the person, when you want to practice, no say, ah, yes, no, repeat, correct. For example, if Natsario says, ah, oh, or I say something, no, okay, thank you, no. Repeat, that way you can practice it. Okay, Luisana? Okay, teacher. Excellent. All right, Nazario, good job. Good fluency. Nazario, select the next group. Who is the next person? Um, Carla. Carla, okay. That would be Carla. Ah, the two Carlas were together. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it's not personal. I'm really sorry. Nazario. Uh -huh. The two Carlas. <laughs> That's uh -huh. personal. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Watch, watch. There you go. There you I'm go. really sorry. Do you have one minute for the for VN start? Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> Here you are. Okay, Carlos, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, one minute. Hello, doctor. Good evening. Hi, Carla. Uh, good evening. What I can help today? I have a headache and stomach. Really? How long have you been like this? I've been feeling like this for more than three days. Uh, for both? Headache and stomach? Yes, doctor. Maybe take some fill for the headache. And for the stomach, maybe take some uh, antiacid for three days, once a day. If uh -huh. you don't improve, maybe, um, can you see, to my office? And I, in my, in the, in my office, and- okay. uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice job, ladies. Great job, Carlos. Both Carlos, very good. Um, Carla Alvarege. There's a, a little bit of issues that we have. They are in the chat to help you. Uh, how can I help you today? No, what can I help you today? Remember the how, no okay, what. Teacher. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The pronunciation, notch, notch, ick, ache. Head, ache, no head H, head ache. Um, it's head, head H. No, no H. Head ache. Uh, head ache. Ache. 
Sí, no, no hay che, no hay che, no che. Eight okay. is like K, like uh -huh. K. But in a quickly pronunciation teacher, we can headache. say headache. Mm -hmm. headache, headache or backache. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one was can to see. Can to see is not a question. Mm -hmm. But I have the idea. Don't worry. Don't worry. In the moment with the pressure, it's normal. It's, ay, 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 relax. It's hard. Yes, 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 exactly. But it's okay. That's the idea. The idea is a little pressure today and then fluency outside. Okay. Excellent. So, Carla, select the next group. Who's the next group? Dance teacher. Carla Eugenia. Carla Eugenia, who's next? And, uh... I'm not Carla. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan Marroquín. Jonathan Marroquín, Douglas Amor, Zamora, and Lil Herrera. Okay. We have one minute. Are you ready? Jonathan, Douglas, Lil. Hi, doctor. Hello. How are you? Hello. What can I do, I do for you? My head hurts a lot. I can drink a tequila for pain. Okay. Since how long are you not feeling well? Uh, my pain, my pain, no, my head hurts a lot. Okay. What can drink for the, for the pain? Okay. Do you drink a lot, a lot of water? Okay, thank you very much. What can okay. I do? Okay. Thank you very much, Liz. Thank you very much, Douglas. Okay, Liz Douglas, thank you very much for trying. I'm happy that you are practicing. Um, but Liz and Douglas, you are not listening. You are not listening to each other. Douglas say one question, you say different answer. You say one question, uh -huh. Douglas, it's like, it's like the two people, no conversation. Different. Yes, it's different. It's like, hey, uh, what do you want to eat? Uh, I like Shrek. Uh, and you, uh, uh, I, I go to Cafe Talon. When do you go to Cafe Talon? Uh, five o'clock to, uh, I, I, what? No, 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 no logical, the conversation. You have to practice okay. listening. That way, if no good listening, no possible answer question. Okay, Douglas and Lil. Okay, okay thank, thank you, teacher. My name is Lil. Lil. Yes. Thank you, Lil. Thank you. All right, Lil. Select the next person. Henry. Okay. Let's take a look. The partner who was Henry's partner. Uh, where's Henry? No. I don't it's see Henry. Henry. Sorry. I think we have Anna. Um, and we, ah, uh, no. Yes. Anna. We have, we have Anna, Anna or Ever. We, which one? Anna or Ever? Ever. Okay. Ever, you're ready. Hi, Lilia. How are you? Hi, doctor. I have a, I have a head stomachache. I feel so bad. I have for two days. Really? To take uh, analgesic. Okay. 
how many days to take and passive? Very good, yes, twice a day. Okay. But the stomach cake is terrible. Can I can I drink to other medicine? Okay. I think Eric disappeared. I don't know what happened with Eric, but he disappeared. Thank you very much, Lillian. All right, we are there. Ever, Lillian, thank you very much for participating. I'm glad that you are trying. Uh, the important to improve is the fluency. You are very slow when you speak. So remember, the idea is to speak naturally, like Spanish. No one word, one word, one word. So next time, only continue practicing to be faster, okay? Okay, teacher. Great. And I think we have Ana and Rodrigo, the last group. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Hello, doctor. I am Ana. Um, visit him because I uh, have a health dash for two days and my ace heart too is terrible. Hello, Anna. Uh, okay, I understand. And you should take acetaminophen. And I recommend uh, drink five bottled water every day. And you should not drink coffee. And okay. I recommend sleep eight hours every night. And I recommend to eat different fruits, for example, apples, watermelon, a banana, and I recommend to drink orange juice because it's important for the health. And, and I recommend- Thank you very uh, to much. Eat. Okay. Very nice, thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you guys, very good job. I like, I like it, very nice, thank you, Anna. Uh, one thing you are doing very well is good interaction, good ideas to give the descriptions. Um, you have a lot of details in there, it's important. Now, remember, uh, and you, Anna, you said, uh, visit him, mm. Mm. but visit him, not the correct pronoun. Is This is, I have a headache, that's why I visit you. No visit him. Visit okay. him is another person. Creo que son los nervios, teacher. It's okay. Don't worry. That's the idea. And the pronunciation is eyes. 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 Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. And remember, Rodrigo, when you use recommend, it's okay. It's okay to use recommend, but you need the verb with ing. I recommend taking, drinking, resting, sleeping whatever recommend but with ing okay good now rodrigo what is another word for recommend what other word can you use for rec but not necessarily recommend uh, for example uh, drinking coffee so so in Spanish, it's very common to use the word recommend. I recommend, I recommend this, the doctor recommend. In English, it's not common to use the word recommend. In English, it's common to use the word, for example, should, must, have to, need to. In English, it's common the models. Recommend, mm, not so normal. Normal recommend is for a person, for a position. I recommend Carla for the position. Or suggest teachers. Uh-huh. Maybe. Yes, but because it's a doctor, no suggest. The doctor give the instructions. Ah, oh, that's right. Uh-huh. That's why it's the more like the order. That's why it's better to use should, must, have to, or need to in order to express the same idea, but no, no repeat 
recommend, recommend, recommend. It's correct. That's right. Wonderful. It's correct, but only for different vocabulary. Okay, Rodrigo? Y si, por ejemplo, es indico o porque los médicos indicamos, se indican I'm, cosas. I'm sorry, Anna. I, I couldn't hear you. What? I, I think I heard Chinese. Eh. Anna, 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 Anna. Sí. Mi pregunta es, por ejemplo, uh -huh. en... Hola. Hello. No. What? I, I don't listen. Indication oh. in, 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 in the doctor. Uh, uh, is correct? Is correct. Is correct, Ana. It's because for the doctor, is correct, are indications. Is not opinion. That's right. That's why it's more the words uh, must, need to, or have to from the doctor. For the other friends, it's okay. I recommend maybe a movie in Cinemark. I recommend, and then you can say John Wick for Francisca, I see you have a question. Thank you, teacher. Uh, so I would like to practice this um, topic. So I don't know very well about the topic, but I would like to practice. Ah, oh, Fra Francisca, did you come late? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, always I come late because I'm, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Huh? What? I didn't understand. It's maybe for the storm. What, what happened, Francisca? So I come in to my homework, I mean, to my work. <laughs> so to me, it's very difficult to, to, hear, to hear very, uh, I don't know. <laughs> use some time, use some time. Yeah. It's okay. The important is that you come and you try to improve. Now, Francisco, I... I suggest that if you want to be all of the class, maybe in the next module is good idea, change the schedule at nine o'clock and then you can be all of the schedule. But okay. in this moment, it's great that you participate. Could, who would like to participate with Francisca? Who would like to do a practice one more time with Francisca? It's okay, teacher, for me. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Francisca, would you like to be the doctor or the patient? Um, I don't know about the doctor, but, but I would like to be the doctor. The doctor. Okay, excellent. Nazario, you are the patient. That's right. Hi, doctor. Hi, uh, Nazario. Nazario, my name is Nazario. Okay. So, how, um, um, how are you? Tell me. I so, ter I so terrible, doctor. I have a headache from you yesterday. Can you tell me? I have a headache from oh. yesterday, doctor. Oh, but uh, what do you do uh, all day? But what do you... Um, uh, <laughs> I'm not both, uh, sorry. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I would like to, I would like to know how can you... Could, could you, could you suggest me some medicine, doctor, please? Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. The time is over. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's wonderful. Don't worry, Francisca. This is the function of the class. The function of the class is not to be perfect. If you were perfect, not necessarily the class. The important is practice. Thank you for trying. Francisca, for you, I recommend practice making questions. Imagine when you go to the doctor, what question the doctor asks you? How long? What happened? When did it start? What? And that way you can do better the next time. So it's for everybody. Remember, everybody is your, the class, not be perfect. The class is make mistakes and improve the next one. So great job for everyone. You're excellent. Yes? Yo, 
I was practicing yesterday after class, but now I'm very, very nervous. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's for Nazario. He make me nervous. I, I look at Nazario. I'm nervous, Nazario. Relax. Uh -huh. there, it's okay. Take a, take, take a relax. Yeah, yes. Words, yes. words. Uh, and all some say words don't come easy. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe, my, maybe when we are a, a little bit nervous. But I think that this is the real ways in order to improve our vocabulary. Mm -hmm. This is the better one. I think so. It's typical. And it's... we can do different kind of thing after the class teacher. We have in the palm of, or of my hand, the word in one phone. I, I have it. Yeah. And I can exactly. check uh, in YouTube a lot of kind of video according to different topic and put in practice the vocabulary and a lot of things. Exactly. So here is the idea for today's topic, all about health, health problems, health compliments, the, how to describe the problems. Before we continue, it, it's okay. Any questions about health or health problems? No? Okay. Now we're going to- Teacher, it's, yes. correct, it's correct to say, Sore muscle. Good. Only the pronunciation is muscle. Muscle. Or muscle. Right? Mm -hmm. it's, but it's, it's okay to use the right word, uh, sore muscle. Correct. This That's is right. Sore muscle. Mm -hmm. okay. Like when you go to the gym and yeah. you go to the gym, yeah. the next day is typical sore. Sore muscle. Yeah. By the way, I went to play soccer today at 5 p.m. So I, I feel a little bit sore. Muscle. Exactly. That's right. Mm -hmm. Great. But I will take some aspirin. Ah, wonderful. Now we're going to practice more of that. Now we're going to practice suggestions and recommendations. Example with Ever. Me and Ever are going to do an example. Okay. Uh, Ever is going to tell me a problem, and I am going to give him my opinion. Okay, but we're going to try. For example, ever, I have the flu. What should I do? What should I take? Ever, ever. There, yes, 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 now yes, okay. Ever, I have the flu. What should I do? To to take medicine. Okay, and that's what we need to practice. Is not normal. Is not normal. Only the short answers. Is normal to have the details. Example, ever. Please tell me your problem, and I'm going to help you. Okay. For example, I have sore muscles, I have a headache, I have a bad, whatever. I have the flu, I have whatever you like. I help you. Tell me, Ever. Stomach. Stomach cake, okay. Ever, if, if you have a stomach cake, you should take some Pepto-Bismol or alka -Setzer. It's going to help you relax. You shouldn't drink or eat Mexican food. Mexican food is very bad for your stomach cake. Um, sometimes the stomach cake is for diarrhea and you should go to the bathroom. This is the idea. Not only ah, take Pepto Bismol. No, 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 no. Explain why, what to do. Positive and negative. You should, you shouldn't. You could, you can't, right? You must You use different vocabulary. It's okay for all of the things that we're going to do? Yeah, it's normal when we visit the doctors, they check or eyes or throat 
uh, or an ear or nose, different part of, of the body. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. I, I going, I am trying to understand the, the real idea of the, or the objective of this, this kind of, of uh, health problem. Okay. So I then, got it. Excellent. Let's try it together and make sure that we practice. Okay. We have, uh, let's take six minutes. Let's role play and do it. I think, uh, let me check. Alba, can you speak or still have problems uh, for the rain? Okay, so maybe Alba still has, because Alba mentioned she had some problems for the rain. No problem, Alba, you continue listening. It's okay, no problem. Francisca? Francisca, do you have any questions? Are you having some problems, Francisca? Okay, excellent. Hi, hi, six seven. Really, uh, and I do. Se me escucha. Yes, sir. Ever. Yes, ever. Mm, Carlita, I think ever has some internet problems. Maybe, maybe. Me uh -huh. it's, it's the internet. It's for but the That's ready. why, uh, because he uh, tell me mm -hmm. um, he have a headache. Okay, and what is your opinion? How uh, maybe um uh, he go to the bed early, and he shouldn't uh, drink coffee because the coffee is very I don't know fuerte strong strong mm -hmm. and he has and maybe he take to some aspirins. For the he headache. Should, he should take some aspirin. He should, he should take some aspirin okay. for the headache. Okay, good. Ever? No. Okay, Carlita. Take, I'm going to... uh, I take uh, aspirin okay. twice a day. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. But I li I like all my life in El Salvador. Ah, that's wonderful. It's a my great country. are Salvadorian. 
Yeah. Yes, about, uh, that's yes, right. Yes. That's uh -huh. wonderful. And what about your health? Tell me, Lil, about your health. How do you feel just right now? Imagine that I am the doctor and I and I ask you about a health problem that you you can Hi doctor. Have. I have flu. You have flu? Yeah. Um tell me tell me about your your day. And I I live relief I don't know. Okay, I understand. Um you should uh drink um orange juice, for example, and lemon tea for the headache. And and you should not you should not to drink uh, coffee and other and, and beer and, and other drinking. No, doctor. No, doctor. I drink. Okay. Well, thank you so much for connecting. I hope we understand and clear today's topic. The idea is for health problems, how to express what to do and how to express how we feel. Tomorrow, we're going to practice health, the topic health, but in different place. Tomorrow, we're going to imagine pharmacy, San Nicolas, uh, the other places we're going to try interacting when we go after the doctor to go to the pharmacist and ask him for medicine. Okay. For okay. to buy some medicine, maybe. Correct. Or to get some medicine. Exactly. Or to get some medicine. That's mm -hmm. right. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you for connecting. Bye. Good to see you again. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Nice. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Nice night. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye.